Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try to keep this one short, but it's a little trick that I've used and I haven't seen it on YouTube before, so I figured I'd share it with everyone and in the process save a lot of money. There are times that when you're bushcrafting, you'll need to drill a smaller diameter hole in something. Maybe to run a piece of paracord through, put a little small wooden peg in, something like that. I've got a bracing bit, a lot of us do, but the smallest bit I've got for it is half inch, five eighths, right around in there. And anyone who's looked knows that when you start getting into the smaller diameter auger bits, they can get expensive especially if you're trying to get them for a brace so that you can use your hand drill. There are companies out there that sell a small diameter auger bit that has a swell on the back of it so you can do hand drills with it. The few of those that I've looked at have been 15 to 20 bucks for just one size. I'm going to show you a little trick where you can use a whole plethora of sizes with one little tool and one little modification. Everybody has a set of drill bits. Or, in my case, a whole bunch of mixed drill bits. You can take a standard drill bit, just like that, and then put a flat on one side of it. Now, I can still use this in my hand drill, or not my hand drill, my cordless drill, or my electric drill. That little flat won't affect it. Now, here's the little trick. A tap handle. This is an old style, it's got the two thumb screws on it. The newer styles have a fixed handle on one side, a round hole in the middle, then the other handle screws in and tightens down on the tap. Now, the way these things are made, and I'll show you real quick, a tap has a square shank on it. And that square shank is made to go in that handle just like that. You tighten the little thumb studs down and then you use it to cut your threads in whatever piece of metal you're working in. Now, that little flat on the side of that drill bit allows it to be used in a tap holder. And I'll show you. What that does is the round side rides down in the V on one side, then the flat side rides against the other side of the handle. Now in the newer type, you would put that through and the handle that you screw in would come down and you tighten it down on that flat side so that it would hold it in place. Now, it doesn't matter what the length of the drill bit is, it can be a long one, it can be a short one, whatever. That little half inch flat on the side of that, quarter inch, whichever, will allow you to use that to drill a hole. Hang on a second here and I'll give you an example. Get you turned around. I put this in this vise so that I can do this without my hand being in the way of trying to hold the piece of wood.
Now, get you turned back around. Like I said, that'll work with any drill bit. Now, if you notice, when I made my little flat, I made it so that a lot of that drill bit doesn't stick up past the handle. Did that for comfort reasons. Because I have used these, and this is what I first started out using it with, and found out very quick it gets uncomfortable. I had a bunch of these. They're drill bits that are made up for the quick deck couplers. And those are octagon or hexagon, whichever. And they work great in this handle. And I'm sure they'll work good in the other handles. The only problem is, is when you put them in there and that handle rides all the way down to that shoulder, you've got quite a bit of that sticking up out of the backside. And when you're pushing on that, that digs into your hand and hurts. Now, I'm sure you can find you a small wooden knob, drill a hole in the end of it big enough that it'll slide down over that. That way you can put it in there and it'll not dig into your hand. Probably make it a whole lot more comfortable in the long run doing it that way. But if you've got those, figure out some way to cover that back end that sticks out so that it doesn't dig and you won't even have to go out and make any modifications to your drill bits. Now, price wise, this one here, my father-in-law found this handle in a $1 box of junk at a yard sale. I think it had a bunch of taps, drill bits, this handle, I think a hammer and some other stuff and he gave a dollar for the whole box. A new one of these, the new style, if I remember right, the last time I saw one was 12 to 15 bucks for the, just the handle and put whatever size drill bit you need in it with that little modification of cup putting the flat on the side of it. So there's a quick little tip, short, sweet, to the point, way to save some money instead of buying a bunch of different size small bits at 15 20 bucks a pop when you can buy one handle and use the drill bits you already have y'all have a good one like share subscribe i'll get another one up for you soon